What is up guys and welcome back into the Rams house. Thank you so much for stopping in. I really do appreciate it. And if you are a Rams fan in need of some Rams content, I've got you covered because that's all we do in this channel. We just talk about the Rams because that is my favorite thing to do in the world. So thank you for stopping into the channel. But getting into the video, we're going to be talking about Cooper Cup and Robert Woods and what makes them such a great duo. Because in my opinion, this could be Rams bias. You could take it either way. But um, in my opinion, I feel like Cooper Cup and Robert Woods are heavily underrated and they're like the best duo in the NFL. They both have similar traits as far as like the yards after catch and their hands are both very good. I, I Whenever I see a pass go up for Robert Woods, I always know he's going to come down with it. Like he's he's one of those guys who you can just always trust to come down with it. Cooper Cup is the same. Obviously, last season there were a, a few dropping issues, but I'm pretty sure that those are going to be gone this year there were there were only a couple of them that I can think back of I know the 49ers game was just kind of a tough one for him something was off with it um but they're gonna have to be making sure to catch the ball really well with Stafford with how hard he throws that ball is gonna be they're gonna have to be concentrating on that but what makes this duo so good and what makes Robert Woods and Cooper Cup so good individually well to break it down I feel like with Robert Woods he is a type of guy for the Rams offense who is just an all-around player he does the jet sweeps. He could even go in at running back, in my opinion, but he does the jet sweeps. He can do intermediate. He can do short. He's done deep. I'm sure we all remember that Houston Texans deep route touchdown that he had um, against or in, in the Coliseum. That was one of the plays I remember. There was also, I correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like in the LA Coliseum as well, when we played the Vikings, he had a deep one. I could be wrong, but that, that night that golf was just going off. Um, but he can... What impresses me so much about him is he can pretty much do whatever you need him to do. He's humble about it, and you know he can. He comes down with the football. I'm sure not many of you remember this play because it was the Wolford week when we had him in against the Cardinals in the last week of the season. Um, but it was a standout play for me when, when Robert Woods, Wolf, Wolford threw up to the sidelines. It was close to the pylon, I think. It, it, could've, it was in the red zone for sure, but he threw it. And I had, I did not think Woods was going to come down with it in bounds because it was a high throw and it was near the sidelines. But Woods went up there, he caught it, and as he's falling forward, he gets two feet in bounds. And he just gets back up, no celebration, nothing. He's just focused on the next play, the next play, and the next play and winning the game. So Robert Woods does so much for you. I think his versatility is really what makes him stand out. Um, so I love Robert Woods. He's my favorite player on offense. I do like Cooper Cup. And Cam Akers, I mean, he's fighting for the spot too, but Robert Woods, he's so humble. He does so many things well. I also want to know what you think he does best because I, I'm sure that you guys have a lot of opinions too on the subject. Um, and then getting into Cooper Cup, he has amazing after the catch, yards after the catch, just like Robert Woods. They both practice, they've, they've even set up themselves that in the offseason, they practice the yards after catch drills all the time like they that's just what they're thinking about that's one of their specialties but get we all know that that's what they do i don't want to just give you guys things that we already know that they do that's already talked about all the time i think a thing that cooper cup does so well is he his footwork first first of all he's an amazing route runner if you take a look at some of this footwork and i'm sure you guys remember this play that he had i believe it was in 2018 i could be wrong yeah i think it was 2018 um against the Saints in week one when he caught it and it seemed like he was going to go down to just a quick slant but he just kept going kept going kept going obviously that's the yards after catch on display but what I want you to look at if you go back on that highlight he he made the defender think that he was going to the outside on an out route by pretty much he moved his shoulders like that and that obviously I can't do that <laughs> um but he he did it in such a way where it manipulated the defender to bite so hard on that out route because that's also what he does well. And then use that quick footwork to get back inside and catch it. And then, you know, the rest is history with just the way that he can get those yards after catch. So I think with Cooper Cup, he's so good at manipulating defenders into one route, especially if they call it a lot. Like this past season, I feel like the Rams called a lot of short routes and a lot of out routes with him um, to where... When he does some other ones, he can put that into it because they're used to it. And then he quickly goes out the other way. And he's not a speed demon by any means, but 
he's he has quick footwork. He has he has, he's very quick with his moves and he can do a move so quick where the defender bites on it because he thinks he's doing one thing and he does another thing and then he goes. And Cooper Cup, I wouldn't say he's a deep threat. I I haven't seen in all of his career on the Rams, I haven't seen many deep threat ones and he may not just be getting the routes too because we had Brandon Cooks and then he was just never thought as like a speed receiver so he may not be getting that concept but he doesn't do that too much the deep threats so that's something to look at too he he may be able to do that but I feel like with Woods he's a little bit more versatile and I think that Cooper Cup just excels so much at the inside routes and even some outside routes. He also has been known to do some post routes too, but I think some big standout things. He can catch the football. Again, like I mentioned last season, he had some drops there that were just... I think this shows how good he has it. He was at catching the football that when he dropped it, everybody started lashing out because they're used to how good he is at catching it. So that's a huge trait that he's got, but... These two, the these two two receivers together do so well together. They help each other, and I think again it could just be Rams bias. I don't know. You may think some other duos are the best, but I think this is the best duo in football. They for sure are. It's been proven that they're the best for yards after catch, and I think this season with Stafford that's gonna help improve so much. So I think both Woods and Cup do things so well, some that the other can't do and some that they both can do, that you don't know really who to cover and it benefits both of them. And they're so good in the way that they do their routes and attack the game plan. They're very smart and my favorite things about them is how humble they are. Um, They just never seem to like be so arrogant or celebrating all the time they get a catch or whatever. And they both have that mindset, and I like that so much about them as as far as their personality. But they bring so much to the table, and I want to know what you think that they bring to the table. Because me as a Rams fan who watch them all the time, I love those guys, and I hope they never leave this team. So let me know down below what you think. Please make sure to click that subscribe button down below, because again, we make Rams content all the time. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Horns up. God bless. You guys are the best. Have a great day.